Okay. So welcome everyone. I in today's mastermind session. In this week, every Wednesday at 9:30 p.m. India time, which is 5 p.m. now UK time and 12 noon EST. For all the people of this community, we come here. We come here to discuss something which is of importance. We come here something discuss which is exciting, and we do lot of stuff. We also get some guest speakers. We we're going to have a lot more celebration coming. So the topic that I chose this week is what are the five unusual ways to build self-confidence? Before we deep dive into what are the five ways, what do you think is the importance of self-confidence? Why do we need to have self-confidence? What exactly is self-confidence? Anybody wants to unmute? Yeah, if you have self-confidence, then you can express yourself in a better way mm -hmm. to any unknown person or a known person. Right. It's, it's a great way to express yourself in front of others. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, it is better to express uh, yourself. For that person. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a good way to express yourself. <clears throat> what else? And uh, it is it is uh, developed uh, by the practicing only the self confidence. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. So it's a skill you can you can uh, build on that. You can work and yeah. and increase your confidence. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So by definition, the confidence or self confidence is that when you feel you are confident, when you feel that you can do something and it generally we feel the confidence is only about expressing but it's also about our skills if it is about public speaking whether it's about our coding skills whether it's about our marketing skills we have a certain level of confidence in us we feel that can we do this or can we not do this what are the chances what are the percentage and that is what is confidence now what happens if we have a lack of confidence You will miss the opportunities in your life. Yeah, sometimes we miss yeah. the opportunities. Yes. Yes. We, we, even we cannot speak to uh, uh, front of others. Right, we're not able to express something, our... something we know, but yeah. due to lack of confidence, we cannot express mm -hmm. the things which we know. Yeah, we know stuff, but because we are not confident, because we're not sure how people will perceive. Even though we know, we are not able to tell to others. Great. Any other uh, viewpoints on why confidence is so important? All right. I guess all of you are right. It's very important to have confidence because unless you believe in yourself, unless you believe that you can achieve this, you can do this, you can and you can speak, you can build something. You know, as they say, everything is uh, made twice, once in our mind and then actually in the world. And if you're not able to build that self-image, build that, that big vision, we are not able to actually do it in the real world, right? Everything is energy. And if you're not able to produce that positive energy, produce that confidence, then we're not able to do that. So today I want to cover five unusual, yeah, I know there's a spelling mistake. You can pardon me for that. Unusual ways to build self-confidence. Now, some of you may not feel that this is unusual, but I found when I collated all this, it was very interesting. So are you ready to know what are the five unusual ways to build confidence? Type yes, yes in the chat. Let, let's be active. Okay, yes says yes, Ashwini says yes, Vanna says yes, lovely. So let's start with number one unusual way to build confidence. And that is seems learning skills. Thank you, Chris and Navneet, yeah, and everybody. Thank you, great. Now I know everybody's awake. <laughs> 
so learning a new skills as they say our mind is so much full of potential but if we don't use that if we don't engage our mind what happens is we get into this negative self talk we get into that toxicity toxicity so it's very important that we are learning new skills we are learning new things we are talking about new things that's happening so that is why if you keep on learning new skills it builds your confidence and how do you do that i just listed down four these are not the only four ways i just listed down on the you can read books amazing but there are so many types of book any genre you can pick every genre there is something to learn something to grow something for you to practice uh, listen to podcast those who know me know how much i value podcast uh, different types of podcast whether it's about money whether it's about success whether it's about business whether it's about technology whether it's about presentation any and every topic you can learn so much and when you keep learning it actually builds on your confidence it keeps on adding another layer and when somebody ask you now you say yeah i've i've read about that i've learned about that and you can practice on the go this also helps you with impromptu speaking as well when somebody ask you because you have a wide variety of knowledge and skills it adds to your conversation and you can bring a new perspective a different perspective so learning new skills whether through books or podcasts youtube online and there may be multiple more ways you can even talk to people who are expert in that area and get some more insight for that learning new skills builds your confidence sounds good all right let's go to the second one which is celebration how many times have you ever thought that once i achieve this big milestone i will have the biggest celebration if i become the world champion if i if i get this big project we need to celebrate the big wins but at times we also need to celebrate the small wins even if you're giving your first speech it's a it's a celebration that means to even if you're doing your first paid gigs even if you are doing your first delivery of the project even if you are just talking to somebody stranger where you are actually freaked out before that celebrating acknowledging those things adds or boosts your self confidence so whenever you are doing new things celebrate you don't have to go big all out and say okay every time i do something new i'm going to throw a 1000 dollar or a 500 pound party you don't have to do that but celebrating small even going for a small walk having one candy anything just to give you that positive feedback to yourself that yeah i'm making some progress i'm doing something greater no uh, even watching some some fun video could be a way of celebration anything and everything that can help you celebrate make it make that big and small especially the small wins celebration that boost your confidence because you know when you keep on winning small small things that's when one day you achieve the big thing so and that boosts your self confidence so do you agree celebrating big and small wins type ps in the chat lovely 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 so what has been your win this week anybody wants to unmute and share any wins that happened this week yeah yes namdi i have a got a, i have got a award wow. for uh, as uh, giving the smile and getting a more appreciation from the customer side uh, by lovely. my mp last lovely, week lovely lovely amazing so how did you celebrate i go for movie with my family wow exactly <laughs> Lovely, because lovely. I got a voucher of Amazon, so near about five hundred. Wow! <laughs> yeah, that that's a good way. But even if you don't get voucher from anybody else, you can sponsor your own voucher, right? Even if, right? Sure, sure. In future, I can. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Let's move on to third one. Is this all making sense? Learning new skills, and then celebrating small wins. All right. let's move on to the third unusual way to build your self confidence 
do something physical every day now this may sound like how does that how does that physical thing relates to self confidence but when you add some physicality to you every day and it could be i just listed down three things it could be anything you you're going hitting the gym you are doing boxing you're doing walking you are doing uh, uh, yoga you're doing anything that adds that that helps you whenever you have this sweat coming out of your mind there is it's been researched and proven that no that belt builds your self esteem that makes you feel like yes i've got this kick i can do that so doing something physically even if it's going for an a walk i would say probably a little aggressive walk not a, a slow easy walk maybe a little aggressive walk or boxing or something physical something that adds and increases your heartbeat that gives you a lot of self confidence and you'll see every big achiever has some or other sort of physical routine set it up you you would have heard lot of big people go at least three times or four times to gym or boxing or this classes that classes or sports sports is another thing that adds to a lot of good hormones are produced when you do this physical uh, no uh, physical activities and that boost your self confidence sounds good any any uh, anyone wants to share any example of that yeah definitely i i want to share an example when uh, when i go to gym and mm-hmm. do some physical exercises i feel light i feel yeah i can now correlate those things with the self confidence you can yeah. focus more if yeah. if your efficiency is high then your self confidence will be, will be automatically improve mm, lovely amazing yeah i came here i to tell you i came uh, on vacation and i didn't go for morning walk for a few days i was feeling a little bit lethargic but uh, the day uh, i went for a morning walk after a gap of about 3 4 days i felt really better i went for a half an hour walk in the morning and i could feel that okay i i'm getting out of that i'm not getting into that lazy and and uh, procrastinated mode i was getting more energetic so every time you are doing something big before that if you have time do something it doesn't have to be crazy but you, even if you can take a walk or little bit of you no know, physical exercises that really boost your confidence boost brings those positive hormones in your body secretes the positive hormones really takes you to the next level okay yeah that's true i want to say uh, share my experience for yes, those on this yeah yeah that's true because of this pandemic and all that i'm also working from my hometown since last two years now mm-hmm. and it's uh, like a hill station kind of so i got the opportunity to have a walk in woods and all that and i'm following up uh, this routine daily almost it's a 40 of 45 minutes of walk <laughs> wow. we cover the 6 or 7 km daily right <laughs> lovely lovely it's definitely add uh, to your confidence and your uh, you know concentration to work you feel refresh every day and you can start your next day very you know with the full power of full, full energy so that's true i think yeah great great thank you for sharing actually this is so true Thanks. and yeah not everybody is as fortunate uh, to live in a hill station like you but you can also <laughs> place to go and visit no. yeah <laughs> uh, yeah lovely lovely okay uh, anyone anyone else wants to share i know dilip ji goes for a walk morning walk every day <laughs> yes so i did yeah, i i was supposed to share it so anyway uh, um, uh, almost 3 uh, to 4 years i am doing a morning walk as well as some yoga and meditation so i do both mm. uh, first uh, i do yoga and meditation then go for uh, some 15 to 30 minutes uh, morning walk so whether it is a hot whether it is a cold or whether it is a rainy season so i because it give me a energy gives energy a lot of energy and uh, i feel uh, uh, i mean energetic uh, full day mm-hmm. so it's uh, it works really yeah. great thank you for sharing yes. yeah lovely lovely and i love your consistency for doing it for past 3 4 years that 
really caused her concern. It's a great job on that. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the second last unusual way to build self confidence. Now, if you have followed from one, two, three, this may not feel like this is unusual, uh, but let's see. This is called having a me time. What exactly is a me time? Anybody wants to elaborate? What is a me time? A time in which you are disconnected from all social media platforms and your family as well. Okay. Okay. Good definition. Anybody else wants to add anything? Yes. Time for myself. <clears throat> mm. Enjoyment, entertainment, or sitting with friends, enjoying with friends. There is time for myself. Okay. Something like uh, what you, whatever you would like to do, and you do that thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. All, all Maybe your passion. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe your passion, right? Yes. Great. It's the time okay. where you solve it with your mind. Sorry, Namnit, can you repeat? It's the time where your soul meets your mind. Like, you your mind. Right. Where your soul meets your mind, right? Let's stick to English. Great. So, all, all great and right answer uh, to me, I think, uh, depends on having a time dedicated for yourself on every day or if not every day, having a number of days in a week where you are able to do things that you love to do. And it could be anything. It could be journaling. It could be doing a self-talk. could be doing some affirmation, recitation, meditation, even a walk even hitting team, whatever you feel like doing. It could be even talking to a friend. But having a me time on most of the days builds your confidence. Not in a very drastic way to say, okay, you just have a me time one day and your confidence is skyrocket. But if you keep doing it, it's all about consistency. If you have a me time every day, uh, for example, my me time is my morning rituals where I wake up early, I read some books, I do some meditation or journaling, uh, enjoying coffee. My me time is having black coffee with book or doing other journaling, other things. I love that. And, and, and on those days when I'm not able to do that for a few days, I can feel and, and now even my family can feel that, okay, you have not been doing that, your me time thing, your ritual thing. So having your, identifying your me time, identifying your rituals, what works for you, and then working on if that every single day, that boosts your confidence as well. So having a me time and then following it, following it as many times as possible is another unusual way to build your self-confidence. Okay, so we are on to the last point, which is, yeah, let's not have too much of suspense and thriller. It's about being grateful. At times we feel bogged down. There's so much going on in the world. It's, it's so much of negativity around. There's so many things you want to accomplish. Sometimes we don't succeed. Sometimes we get a setup, set back. Sometimes we feel like I'm not making any progress. But if we take some time, just relax and think about from where we have come so far, just look at yourself maybe a few months back, maybe a few years back, maybe a few decades back. If you are old enough, you can feel so much grateful for what you have. I, I'm in my hometown right now, and I'm so grateful for all the great things that has happened to me in the last two decades. When you feel grateful for things that has happened to you, that gives you a lot of boost that you can do much more. It, it's about that positive self-talk that you know, if I can achieve so many things despite from this background, from this country, from this place, from this particular background, I can do much more. And that gives you confidence. So always having a vision for future is important, but also looking back at your journey and being grateful for all the great things that has happened to you, all the great learnings that you have, all the great time that you have spent, that gives you more confidence that if I can survive that, if I can do that, if I can earn that, if I can build that, 
I can do much more than that in coming days, months, weeks, decades, years, you never know. But this is another way to be confident. So those are the five unusual way to build self-confidence. Any uh, insight, any question, any feedback from anyone? I've got a few bonus for you also that, that helps you, but let's hear from you. Any, anything you want to share? Uh, uh, can you repeat this five, uh, five number of points? Yeah, fifth one That's is one. being grateful, being thankful for oh. what you have achieved so far, whatever you have earned, whatever you have learned, whatever you have uh, milestone you have achieved. Uh, and then looking at your journey from where you started, when you think about that, when you get into a state where you feel thankful, you feel grateful for what all you have got, what all you have received, that gives you a lot of confidence that if I'm coming, for example, if I take my example, coming from a non-English speaking background, coming from a small town in India and then going from there to you know, working for one of the premier organization, IT organization in the world, one of the best places to live in the world and, and doing so many things, amazing things in life. I feel so immensely grateful, so immensely thankful for that. And whenever I feel that, I feel more confident that no, I've done so much, I've received so much, and I can do more if I if I continue to feel like that. So that's the fifth unusual way: being thankful, being being grateful uh, for your journey so far, so that you get more confidence to do more things in future. Does that make sense? Yes. Lovely. Yes, Haritosh. So yes, I would like to add here something. That's mm -hmm. true. Like uh, if we compare our journey from the past and see uh, at the present, like where we are, obviously we made a progress. The trouble is like when we start comparing ourselves with others, then the trouble started like, oh, <laughs> we missed something. I think we could do better than this, what we are today here. <laughs> and Till the point we are not comparing with others, now we are good. But uh, the point we start comparison with others, it really hurts sometimes. <laughs> no, absolutely, you are you are absolutely right. I think uh, our biggest comparison should be with us in the past. Like right? you know how uh, how I was doing yesterday versus how I am doing today or how I will do tomorrow. If we can bring that, it's not always easy, as you said, and we all get into that. Uh, whether you are working in office, whether you are a social media influencer, whether you are a speaker, whether you are just a listener, we all compare. That's the default mechanism our brain works. But if we can keep ourselves centered around ourselves, which may seem like selfish, but it is actually the right thing that you no, know, keeping comparing ourselves to ourselves. You no, know, my journey is unique. And my path has been unique and it cannot directly compare to the journey of Yash or Navneet or Dilip or uh, no, Ashwani or Vanna or Krish. When we bring that into our perspective, you know, we feel like, yes, I have made progress. I have things to do. We all are work in progress. Uh, some of us are actually, we just got started. Uh, and when we keep that perspective in mind, we, we still get a lot of confidence. So, Thank you for bringing that point, actually. Very, very valid point. Lovely. Now I'm going to give you three bonus. And these three bonus uh, are, again, unusual. But this is more to do with the physicality. Like, how do you get more confidence? And these are more of action thing. And these are direct things that you can do. So very simple. Smile. Whenever you're feeling a little underconfident, Sometimes you have to force smile, but if you keep smiling for a few minutes, your mind, you know, our mind is so amazing that we can actually control. This is a way for us to control. If you smile and force your smile for some few minutes, your mind will start thinking that you are actually in a good state and those hormones will actually bring you to that good state. So sometimes forcing yourself smile, uh, don't smile at places where you're not supposed to smile. Uh, that can be dangerous. But if it is a normal place where you can smile, you can be cheerful, that helps in building confidence. 
second bonus is speak slowly no lot of times we feel that if we speak really really fast people will think that we are so confident and people think this is such an amazing speaker people think such a great personality but actually if you look at all the great leaders all the great communicators they actually speak slowly and that shows their confidence you will not find great leaders speaking so fast but you will many times find great leaders speaking slowly pronouncing every single word with special emphasis on certain words so when you start to speak slowly it shows that you are confident and you internally feel that i am confident i can talk about that i can do this i can do that so that's another physical thing physical aspect of building self confidence that you smile and speak slowly there's no need to haste there's no need to hurry and stand stand tall have you heard about the term called power posing there's a great ted talk uh, where um, I, i think it was some lady called amy who, who they gave this ted talk called uh, super women pose where she said that every time you feeling under confident uh, you do this put your hands on the side of your uh, back and then stand like a superman or superwoman and that will increase your confidence it will feel like i'm so confident so uh, and there have been research done to actually which actually proves that when you stand tall when you stand confidently it boosts your confidence you feel like you are in command you are in charge so at times adding these small nuggets of physicality also increases your self confidence especially when you're going for a meeting or a speaking engagement or a conference to bring this smile and speaking slowly and standing tall when you bring these three s into picture that helps boost your confidence so any uh, <clears throat> any insight or any experience you had on these smile speaking slowly and standing tall not you will have to no. continue yes ma'am i want to share my experience last experience last week i go for a interview with a one reputed uh, organization and uh, the cio taking my interview so i started my introductory part and uh, i go little bit faster and uh, there are two guy who is taking my interview so one guy saying i think your internet connection is not uh, <laughs> well i because i am not getting you properly but uh, another guy who is cio is like no 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 there is no problem of internet you are going so fast just little bit slower then it's okay to us to understand you better <laughs> so this is the one thing we need to be uh, in mind when we go mm-hmm. when we feel over confident we go fast i think so <laughs> <laughs> i mean both ways actually when we feel over confident and also when we feel under confident we feel like we need to say so many things and and that makes us feel like okay yeah let let's go super super fast and let's make sure that you now we are telling everything the fact of the matter is you have to go natural or little less natural and little less than your natural speed because what you want to do is you want to speak so that people understand you don't want to speak so that people count the, the number of lines or number of words you have spoken so if you want to take a screenshot of this i have made the full screen feel free to do that uh, but these are some five unusual ways to build your self confidence and three bonus uh, smile speaking slowly and standing tall which really will help you to boost your confidence to build your self confidence in usual and unusual way okay all right so we have with that we have come to the end of another mastermind session i have a few announcements so number 1 is uh, yeah uh, we are having this public speaking boot camp this weekend so people who are going to be part of this i know a few people are here who are going to be part of this we're looking forward to have you on 
this Saturday and Sunday for some fun public speaking boot camp. That's a fun one. Uh, and then we are starting a new program next week, hopefully, about uh, how to confidently communicate in English for working professionals, especially. And also from next week, we are going to have us next week. I don't want to reveal the name, but next week, somebody from this group only is going to come here and present its five to 10 minutes talk about something which is still a secret. So it's not only going to be me speaking next time. It's going to be somebody from this group who's present today. I'll keep you guessing. But somebody is going to be here and presenting to you something which is of interest to you and to him as well. So that's all for today's mastermind session. Lovely seeing you all. Uh, have a great rest of the week. And I'm looking forward to catch you next week as well. Thank you.